Howdy friends! Welcome to the All About Relays channel. In this video, we will look at how many types of relays are utilized in power system protection. It covers the very basic information about the type of relays used in power system protection. The types of protection relays are mainly based on their characteristics, logic, actuating parameters, and operation mechanism. Before exploring the type of relays, let's look at the role of protective relays in power system protection. Protective relays are pivotal components in electrical circuits that automatically detect abnormal conditions and initiate a sequence of events to disconnect the faulty portion from the rest of the operational circuit. They serve as critical safeguards, ensuring the reliability and stability of power systems. Protective relay types based on fundamental concepts. Pickup level of actuating signal. Defining the critical threshold that triggers a relay's operation and the principles behind setting this level. Reset level. Understanding the conditions under which a relay resets or untrips and the importance of this feature in system recovery. Operating time. The time frame from signal detection to relay activation and its impact on system protection. Reset time. How quickly a relay can return to its normal state post-activation and its significance in power system operations. Reach of relay. Discuss distance relays and how they measure impedance to determine the reach within a power system. Protective relay types based on operation mechanism. Electromagnetic relay. Electromagnetic relays are the traditional type of relay and have been used in electrical systems for decades. They operate based on electromagnetic principles. Static relay. Static relays, also known as solid-state relays, use electronic components instead of mechanical moving parts to perform their switching functions. Digital-slash-numeric relays. Digital or numerical relays represent a significant advancement in relay technology. These modern devices use digital signal processing methods and microprocessors to perform their protective functions. Unlike traditional relays that rely on physical components or analog circuits, digital relays process input signals numerically. Protective relay types based on characteristics. Definite time relays. Relays that operate after a set period regardless of the magnitude of the actuating signal. Inverse time relays with definite time minimum time, IDMT. These relays provide a response time inversely proportional to the magnitude of the actuating signal. Instantaneous relays. Relays that operate with virtually no intentional time delay. IDMT with instantaneous. Relays that combine IDMT and instantaneous characteristics for more nuanced protection. Stepped characteristics. Relays that have multiple operating times corresponding to different actuating signal intensities. Voltage restraint overcurrent relay. This is a special case of overcurrent relays restrained by voltage levels. Protective relay types based on logic. Differential relays. These relays operate on the principle of comparing magnitudes of electrical quantities, such as currents or voltages, in different parts of the system. A differential relay triggers when the difference between these quantities exceeds a predefined threshold, indicating a potential fault. Unbalance relays. Unbalance relays are designed to detect asymmetries in power systems, such as unbalanced loads or phase loss conditions. They monitor the distribution of power across phases and initiate protective actions if an imbalance is detected. Neutral displacement relays. These relays monitor the displacement of the neutral point in an electrical system. A significant shift from the normal position usually indicates ground faults or other anomalies, prompting the relay to activate. Directional relays. Directional relays are essential in systems where the direction of current or power flow is a critical factor. They determine the direction of fault currents and are often used in conjunction with other relay types for accurate fault location and isolation. Restricted earth fault relays. Directional relays are essential in systems where the direction of current or power flow is a critical factor. They determine the direction of fault currents and are often used in conjunction with other relay types for accurate fault location and isolation. Overfluxing relays. Overfluxing relays protect transformers and other magnetic core equipment from damage due to excessive magnetic flux. They monitor the voltage-to-frequency ratio and signal an alarm or trip the circuit when this ratio exceeds safe limits. limits. Distance schemes. Distance relays, or impedance relays, measure the impedance between their location and a fault. They are critical in line protection, where the fault's distance determines the relay's response. Bus bar protection. Bus bar protection relays are specialized devices designed to safeguard bus bars, which are key junction points in power systems. 
They monitor conditions like overcurrent and short circuits specific to bus bar configurations. Reverse power relays. These relays detect reverse power flow, which can indicate issues like generator failure. They are vital in systems where power flow directionality ensures operational stability. Loss of excitation relays. Loss of excitation relays are used primarily in generator protection. They detect conditions where the generator loses its magnetic field, which could lead to system instabilities. Negative phase sequence relays. These relays identify imbalances in three-phase systems, specifically conditions where the phases are not equally loaded. Such scenarios can lead to overheating and damage to motors and generators. Protective relay types based on actuating parameters. Current relays. Current relays are designed to respond to changes in electrical current. They are extensively used in power systems for applications like overcurrent protection and earth fault detection. These relays are set to activate when the current exceeds a predefined threshold, indicative of abnormal conditions like short circuits or overloads. Voltage relays. Voltage relays monitor the voltage levels in a power system. They are vital in applications where voltage thresholds are critical for safe operation. These relays are programmed to respond to undervoltage or overvoltage conditions, ensuring the stability and health of the electrical network. Frequency relays. Frequency relays are essential in systems where maintaining a specific frequency is crucial, such as in power generation. These relays monitor the frequency of the electrical system and activate if there are deviations from the normal operating frequency, which load imbalances or generator issues could cause. Power relays. Power relays monitor the power in an electrical system, including both active, real, and reactive power. They are important in applications where the balance of power generation and consumption must be maintained, as well as in reactive power compensation. Protective relay types based on application. Primary relay. The primary relay, often referred to as the main relay, serves as the first line of defense in a power system protection scheme. Its principal function is to detect and promptly respond to faults or abnormal conditions within its designated section of the system. Immediate response. Primary relays are designed to react quickly to fault conditions to minimize damage and disruption. Precision. They are calibrated to detect specific types of faults within a predetermined area or equipment, ensuring accurate fault detection. Direct connection. Typically, primary relays are directly connected to the circuit or equipment they protect, such as transformers, feeders, or generators. Backup relay. Backup relays provide a secondary line of defense. They are designed to operate in case the primary relay fails to detect or isolate a fault. The primary objective of a backup relay is to ensure system protection is maintained even in the event of a primary relay failure. Delayed response. Unlike primary relays, backup relays have a deliberate time delay to allow the primary relay to operate first. Broader coverage. They often cover a larger area or multiple sections of the system to provide overlapping protection. Independent operation. Backup relays are usually powered and controlled independently from the primary relay to ensure reliability and minimize common failure points. Protective relay specializes types. Read relay coupled SSR. Read relay coupled SSRs utilize the magnetic sensitivity of a read switch within the relay mechanism, offering highly reliable and fast switching capabilities ideal for telecommunications and low power control systems. Transformer coupled SSR. Transformer SSRs employ transformers to provide input-output isolation, making them suitable for applications requiring high voltage isolation and noise immunity, such as industrial automation. Photocoupled SSR Photocoupled SSRs, harnessing light, typically from an LED, to trigger a photosensitive semiconductor, are used for their excellent electrical isolation and fast response, which are beneficial in sensitive electronic equipment and safety-critical applications. Thermal relays. Outlining how thermal relays operate by responding to temperature changes with a focus on motor protection applications. Hybrid relays. Examining relays that blend electromagnetic mechanisms with solid-state components for improved performance. Read relays. Describing how read relays function using magnetic strips, or reeds, within a sealed glass tube to switch circuits. Protective relay selection and application. 
Sensitivity. Sensitivity in a relay refers to its ability to detect and respond to very small or slight changes in the electrical parameters it monitors, ensuring even the most subtle anomalies are not overlooked, thereby enhancing overall system protection. Selectivity. Selectivity is a crucial feature that allows a relay to precisely identify and isolate only the affected part of an electrical system during a fault, preventing unnecessary interruption to the rest of the network and maintaining operational continuity. Speed. The speed of a relay is critical in swiftly reacting to fault conditions, enabling rapid disconnection of the problematic section, thereby minimizing the extent of damage and reducing potential downtime in power systems. I hope the information in this video about how many types of relays are used in power system protection is useful. Consider subscribing, commenting, and sharing the All About Relays channel video.